Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky for the Red Carpet Report. We are at NBC's after party for the Golden Globes. Just because the ceremony's over doesn't mean the party stops. So tell me a little bit about what's going on on Defiance right now, what viewers can expect to see next. I'm just about to fly back up to Toronto on Wednesday and start shooting season three. So uh, uh, what I know is, is Toronto at this time of year in January is freezing. So um, I'm praying for a lot of green screen. I can tell our audience that uh, we're going to, for the first time, get into space. Uh, and uh, uh, the show is getting uh, much bigger, we're travelling much further. And uh, many, many more surprises than we've ever seen before. So it's looking and shaping up to be an incredible season. I'm very, very excited to shoot it. Excellent. It sounds like there's a lot of exciting things. What did you do on your hiatus while you were on your break? I shot a couple of movies. One uh, 400 Days with Dane Cook and Brendan Routh. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then I shot another uh, film uh, called One and Two. And we were just accepted into the Berlin Film Festival. So that was fantastic. That was with Timothée Chalamet and uh, Kenan Shipka uh, so, uh, and Elizabeth Reardon. So it was a brilliant little cast, wonderful movie. Um, and uh, we're really, really excited to uh, be in Berlin. What do you like better? Do you have a preference for movies or TV? Do they sort of exercise different muscles for you? I'm just happy to be shooting and acting. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm a bit of a, um, I'm a bit of a junkie for working. I like to work. So I, if I don't, I come from a family of like, you know, blue collar kind of uh, self-employed people. So if I don't work for a week, I get really jittery. So I just have to be doing something. Well, I'm glad you're taking a break tonight to come out and party. How, what's it like to be on a big carpet like this with so many stars around that you see? It's funny, there was the biggest line outside for the party and, and everybody was whinging. You know, everyone's complaining in the line. And it's like the world's highest quality problems to be in the line to the Golden Globes after party. is like, you know, come on guys, let's get it together. This is not, you know, being in Rwanda or something like that, you know. These are quality problems. So this is a wonderful treat. I never thought in my life growing up where I grew up in Australia that I would ever get to go to these events, let alone, you know, wander in and out at will. So, um, no, very lucky boy. This is wonderful. It's like fairyland. Well, I'm going to let you head inside to Fairyland. Thanks for talking with us, and best of luck on Season 3. No worries. Come in. Have a dance like Tinkerbell. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the Golden Globes After Party. If you like the video, click like. And if you'd like to see more videos, please click subscribe. And tell us in the comments which film you were rooting for.